What's up everybody? Welcome to Keto Rewind. I am Jess and today's video is going to be a little bit of just a bunch of things all in one, more of a vlog style. Um, my parents are headed back home so they, I have one more video that I want to give you with my mom and I cooking. So um, I didn't get a chance to film a lot of videos with them while they were here, uh, mainly because they had a million doctor's appointments while they're here. They transferred all of their doctors or their primary doctors to Texas. So it was just one doctor's appointment after the other. But I thought I'd give you one last video while she's here and uh, cook with her tonight. And then I think we're gonna make steak or fajita kebabs. So that'll be fun. Um, it's a real easy recipe. We're using it from one of the Maria Emmerich cookbooks. So I'm gonna give it a taste test for you. <laughs> and um, so yeah, I'll have her on later. But I do have a question for you real quick. So once my parents are headed north, I thought I would start a new project. Um, right now, my kitchen cabinets are like this. Uh, I think that they are solid maple. Uh, yeah, solid maple. So they have kind of, they're not super dark, but they're not super light. It's kind of like that in-between color. Um, I hate it. <laughs> As you can tell from the rest of the house, the more we've been renovating, everything's been turning white. Um, so it, it's just, I know, I just want a brighter kitchen. Um, it is the back of the house here, so the lighting isn't as good here. So having the darker cabinets, you know, I, it just, I just want it to be a little brighter for the pictures. So I'm gonna paint the ceiling white because right now it's mindful gray like the rest of the house. Um, so, and then my husband's gonna add some more recessed lights because currently we only have, I think, four recessed lights in here. So um, it'll make it brighter having more lights. Um, so we're just gonna be doing a mini facelift. Um, the cabinets, everything, I can't afford a brand new kitchen. So. Um, so we're gonna do the painting of the cabinets route and take it from there. This will buy us some time until we can afford to uh, really do the kitchen over the way we want it. Um, so I got this paint. Um, it's The brand is Beyond Paint, not sponsored. This is something that I'm doing. So I was curious if you want to see me paint the cabinets and do a little mini facelift or if you want me to leave that content out. <laughs> so I like to see kitchen renovations, mini facelifts. Um, paint can go a, a long ways in a, ca in a kitchen. I have a decently sized kitchen. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of like a, I got an island in the middle and it's just cabinets all the way around. So, um, but being that the lighting and everything is on that side of the room in, in the living room, it seems so dark in here. So the white's really gonna make I think my background should be a lot brighter um, and more pleasant to the eyes for you guys. <laughs> but I will go ahead and do this project all on my own and not feature it. Or I can show you, you know, some progress, not like every single step, but how I'm just giving a quick little facelift to my, my kitchen. So comment below if you want to see that. Um, I think it's going to be fun. It's probably going to be a lot of work. <laughs> Just painting the ceiling back to white from gray is probably going to be enough of a pain in the butt <laughs> with all the cutting in. But either way, it's a project. It keeps me moving my body. Um, it'll be pretty. It'll be worth the work when it's all done. So that kind of thing. So anyways, comment below if you want to see that. And if not, also comment below and I'll make sure not to bother getting camera equipment out and all that stuff. But anyways, I am going to get my walk in. I'm gonna go have lunch. And then when I meet you back here, it'll be dinner time with mom. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, and we have lunch today. Half of an avocado, a hamburger with cheese. Uh, it's a pepper jack cheese. And these are really thick slices. Um, and I ate one already, so it was around four and a half ounces of turkey, sliced turkey. And of course, water. <laughs> Drink your dang water. And real quick, I just wanna give a huge thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store that's on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everybody. There's a guaranteed savings, so if you can find something cheaper elsewhere, they will match it. But in my case, it seems like Thrive Market is always significantly cheaper than my local stores. Plus, being able to search by category, by aisle, by diet, 
you know, all in one place makes it so easy to find all of your favorite items. So specifically, my husband's keto and gluten-free, you can do both searches by those parameters and it makes everything all in one place versus like in our grocery store, um, gluten-free or keto things are sprinkled throughout the store, making it real easy to miss your favorite items. So um, there's two membership options. One is a month to month option, which is $9.95 a month, or there's an annual option, which is $59.95 per year or around $5 a month. So let me show you real quick what I have in this month's order. Okay, so here is my order. A few new things. Um, I found Thrive Market store brand now has uh, sugar-free chocolate chips. Um, also, you don't just get food, it's just like a regular grocery store. So this is my favorite um, face wash for the shower, so you can have personal care items. Um, I got ketchup, I got Kung Pao keto sauces, I got a unsweetened pizza sauce, I have almond butter and peanut butter, also the Thrive Market brand. Um, this one is a new one to try, sweet chili sauce. Um, it's a keto version. I got a new brownie mix to give a try. A keto barbecue sauce. I, I make this. I use this one a lot. It's really good. Um, and of course, I love making curry, so I got curry. And then for my husband, we got some keto course bars. These are his favorite peanut butter filled pretzels, and then a some plantain chips. So those are for him. But you get pretty much a big variety all in one place. But yeah, that's my order for this month. All right, so click the link down below and save up to 40% off your first order plus a free gift value $50. So use that link below and join Thrive Market today. Now let's get back to the show. Ready? Look at the hammer. <laughs> Alrighty, it is now time to make those, what are they, fajita kebabs? Yes. Fajita kebab. So that's on the menu tonight. It's a quick and easy recipe. Summer's coming, so we're gonna start fine tuning all those like go-to rest uh, recipes that are super easy and perfect for summer. So, and can feed a lot of people yeah. because we have a lot yeah. of company in the summer. You can double, triple, you know, <laughs> quadruple the batch. So yeah. this recipe is from, like I said a million times, um, not in any way affiliated with Maria Emmerich, but trying the recipes. Now, one quick tip. If you are not sure what to eat on keto, the most obvious thing I can tell you is get a cookbook. That's keto. Literally, that keto cookbook and literally flip through and find something that sounds good to you. And or if you're in one of those ruts where you just don't know what's for dinner tonight, turn the page. There's That's what's for dinner. You know, and make it a lot more simple than it is. <laughs> and an additional tip, we eat with our eyes first. So when you're getting a cookbook, that the you can help see. Big time. They do. This way, you can see what you you know what you what's it supposed to look like. It gives you an idea, and also whether or not it's appealing. So this is the easy dairy-free ketogenic recipes. Um, I'll link this down below. We get it on Amazon. Mm -hmm. It's one of her older cookbooks. But point being, if you're in a rut or you don't know what to eat, just find a keto cookbook. So far, we've made a book. Four recipes yeah about and four. they've been great so it's worth it in my opinion they'll all be they'll <laughs> all be debuting this summer yeah <laughs> so but um, basically this is a fajita kebab you can swap chicken for beef for whatever your choice of meat I guess you can even do shrimp you know yeah. swap out your protein and um, so I guess take it away alrighty so the first thing that we have it you have to make a marinade for your meat. Now, you can buy your own slices of beef and cut them, but I just went ahead to Costco and got stew beef. It's so much easier and it's, you know, they're, they're, they have a good quality stew beef. So we make up your marinade. You let your meat marinate for about an hour minimum up to overnight. Put the marinade, make all your spices go together, stick it in the refrigerator, and when we're ready to go, I'm a little more organized, so what I will do is I will actually lay out each each row, each kebab, so that all <laughs> my all kebabs, no, the tomato <laughs> is in the third position. Me, on the other hand, <laughs> you would, would just, just skew it up as I go. Oh, no. Some have more might, peppers. So. Some might be all purple onion, but <laughs> I, I, I tend to lay mine out the way they're going to have the kebab, and I want all mine to look the same. So I'll show you how I do that later, and 
you'll probably think it's a great idea. I like to do sometimes all the turkey or all the chicken or all the beef on one skewer and have vegetables on the other one. This way the cooking time tends to be the, the right time for each thing. So, but that's, I, I, I'm I You do you. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> what are we having this on? We are going to have this on. Do you this know, on, what, what, I don't um, know what book they, that's in? I think it's in the Keto Comfort. Here, you talk and I'll right. see if I what can find the recipe. What we're going to do is instead of using um, a fajita, um, you know, sometimes you put them in the tortillas. I would like to put these like in one of the egg life wrappers. So it's almost like a ta street taco kind of thing. But this is a recipe that we wanted to try and you make it with cabbage and it's called cabbage noodles. So we're gonna make the cabbage noodles and then lay the fajitas um, on top of it. We thought that would be a nice recipe, kind of on the light side, especially like we're, like I said, we're, we're um, trying recipes that we can use over the summer. And you know, in the summer we're really pinched for time because we don't wanna get out of the water on most days, we're in the lake. So if we have like these really go-to easy recipes where we can get the meat marinated in the morning, gather up in the afternoon, do your final prep, throw it on the grill, sit down, boom, everybody's happy and they're satiated. So that, I don't know what book that one was in, but it will, it's a cabbage noodle and we'll get right back to you on that. One eternity later. All right, found it. <laughs> it's oh. also in the dairy. Yeah, this, the, this is the dairy-free cookbook. Yeah, that's the dairy-free cookbook. Basically, the cabbage pasta is you shred a bunch of cabbage in like four cups of cabbage. Very, very, very skinny. And then I you saute it in coconut, coconut oil. oil. So that's what we're going to have on over it. So I, I keep seeing that in a bunch of her recipes instead of, you know, anything like... Uh, like if you have a protein, just slap it on a bit of those, you know, especially yes. like their sure. more Asian type recipes, those saucy type recipes. She had yeah. one for sweetest meatballs. Mm -hmm. We want to so, do that one. So. If this is good, we'll continue and using yeah. it as a summer staple. So anyways, let's jump into the marinade and that'll be like the step one. So let's cut over to that and see how we made the marinade. So what are we going to do now? We've got the marinade all made up. The marinade is made and the, the stew beef is ready. And about how many pounds of stew beef do you this have? Is, this is about two and a half pounds. Okay. Okay. So and we're essentially doubling the recipe because right. I think this was only like for a pound. For four. It was so. for four people. So the easiest way is using a plastic bag because it just makes for easy cleanup. Get all those good bits, bits there uh, down at the bottom. And how long do we need to marinate this for? It says minimum of an hour, and that's pretty much standard up to overnight. So we're going to be marinating it for about three hours. Mm -hmm. May I help you? What are you doing? Are you supposed to be on top of the fridge? And I want to, if you get, a, if you come in and let them see what I'm doing, and then I'll show you. Now you want them good and coated, and I, and then again throughout. The next couple of hours, I'm going to go in and flip the bag and give them another coat. But I, I caution anybody to put the bag directly in the refrigerator because should that open up, you got a real mess on your hand. So I always put them in the bag, but then put them in a bowl too, so you don't have ever have an issue and a big mess to clean up in the refrigerator and that's it all right we'll be back at the next step Alrighty, and we're back it's now time to prepare the shish kebab so you want to tell us what we're doing right now these two are different from the rest in that these are have the hot jalapenos on them and then we have two that don't have hot jalapenos so all you do is if you put a different ending and a different beginning then you know that these two don't have what the rest have so that's basically what i did Got a dog in here. So, um, and then also the kids don't want the jalapeno, so might as well have, you know, save that mm -hmm. <laughs> for the, the and, adults. And there's the meat. It's been marinating for a 
couple of hours. You'll just fill up your skewers and put them in however you want them. So we do it in order like this to so make them consistent. And then these are going to go on a hot grill for about <clears throat> two or three minutes on each side. Don't put them too tight. Right, you want plenty of play on there. So we're using metal skewers, but you can use anything. Um, wooden ones kind of work too, but you need to like soak those first, I think. Yeah. But we just use the metal ones. And we'll be back when these are all assembled. This is pretty straightforward, so. Yeah. <laughs> we have them all lined up, and now it's time to just bring them out to the grill and cook them up. So again, these ones are the kids, because they have a different order than these ones. And these have our jalapenos, and that is it. So at this point, I'm going to start the pan with a little oil in it and then I'm gonna throw that cabbage in and put these on the grill and that is how easy dinner is tonight. Okay so at this point I'm gonna do a quarter cup of avocado oil and then I'm just gonna put that cabbage in here with a little salt and pepper and let those those quote-unquote noodles come together. Like the skinnier you cut up your cabbage the more noodle like it's gonna resemble. So I'm going to take some tongs and just, you know, mix that around and put the cover on it and let it simmer down. So I'll be back at the next step. All right, look who we have on the grill master tonight. We, we have all our stuff on the grill for Ooh. another minute or two and then we'll give it a turn. <laughs> it's a good day. <laughs> and as the, when you put the cover on it, it's going to let it cook down and it'll get softer. So right now it looks like it's a lot more than what it really is and do salt and pepper to taste. I've seen these noodles used in a lot of her recipes and they look so delightful. I can think of a million fun ways to use this recipe as just your basic um, delicious bed of noodles. So I would do this with a red sauce, with meatballs, with maybe some type of an Asian chicken thing. So I'm, I'm curious to see how these taste. I know I've roast cabbage in the oven before and it's really tasty. So I'm assuming it's going to taste very similar to that. So anyways, I'll give you the final verdict when it's all ready. Okay, so the noodles have cooked. They're all set and they look nice and yummy and they have a very sweet taste now. So be the perfect bed um, for the steak kebab. So I'll show you the finished product in just a minute. And that is fresh off the grill. All right, we have the last step here of the cabbage and here is the plate. Does that not look delicious or what? One whole fajita kebab on top of the really sweet lettuce that's been roasted in a pan. So that is dinner. So we just finished up dinner, got the dishes done, and I want to give you my review on that recipe. Um, the marinade was delicious, like so good. I'm going to make this, you know, using chicken with pork with you know, all with beef, um, a great go-to recipe. So the only thing I would say is don't do what we did and we used stew beef and it made it super tough. <laughs> Keep stew beef in uh, stews where it can render down and soften. Um, and I would say the next time I make this, I'm just use like a top sirloin or more tender type of beef. We tried to cut corners. It was already diced up, easy to marinate, but at the end, end of the day, it did make for really tough pieces of meat that you grill. <laughs> So um, that's an easy fix though. That's not a reflection of the recipe. Use a much more tender type of beef um, or chicken or shrimp or whatever. And mm, it was so, so good. So I highly recommend trying out her recipes. And like I said, not affiliated any way or whatsoever. I just, I was in a recipe rut and wanted to start, you know, making some different recipes, things that I haven't tried before. So, um, and that makes a load of the guesswork and figuring out what to eat and all that takes it all away and you just turn the page. This is what we're having tonight. Turn the page. <laughs> so anyways, that's that. Um, delicious. Um, so that is all I have for you today. Don't forget to join Thrive Market down below with my special link. Save 40% off your first order plus a free gift valued over $50. And start saving. I'm Jess. You're watching Keto Rewind. Bye-bye.